Hey guys, I'm Noah Gluten. You ever want to eat calzones without turning into a giant, huge, fat piece of crap? Well, guess what? You still might turn into one, it just won't be from eating this. The pizza roll I'm making today is basically a healthier version of like those big Italian calzones that are kind of like Italian burrito stuffed with 10 million pounds of cheese. Instead, we're using broccoli and Italian sausage. So the first thing you wanna do is get some pizza dough. You can get it from the store, from a local pizzeria, and just set it aside to get to room temperature for about a half an hour. So you wanna preheat your oven to 400 degrees. If you have a pizza stone, that's great. Put that in when it's preheating too. Otherwise, don't worry, you can use a baking sheet and uh, just put it in when it's ready to go. All right, so let's get started with our filling. First, you wanna get your pan heated up, about a medium high heat. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil into your pan here. You don't need too much because you're gonna get some fat from your uh, sausage as well. Take about four cloves of sliced garlic, drop those right into the pan. So now you want about a pinch of chili flakes just to give a little bit of heat in there. Sprinkle those in, they're gonna unify with the oil. Now these are frying up, we can add our sweet Italian sausage. Basically it's about two sausages, I'm gonna take it, squeeze it out of the casing, and it's gonna fry up right in there with your garlic. So you wanna break your sausage up in the pan. What you're looking for here is you wanna get it to a nice crispy brown sausage. And so you're gonna to wanna to let this cook for a little while to get it to that level. All right, so while your sausage is browning up, you can start chopping up your broccoli. Basically, you want a pretty fine chop on this because you wanna have all the bites be pretty unified. All right, now you wanna take your sausage meat out of here. Try to leave as much of the oil in the pan as you can because you can use that to fry up the broccoli. Dump it right in. Season it with salt and a little bit of black pepper. Also throw in your oregano right now too, some nice dried oregano. Broccoli loves to absorb a lot of moisture so it's gonna suck up all this fat right away. But it's gonna release it again later. Now you pour a little bit of water in here, it's gonna help keep the broccoli nice and moist, then it'll evaporate out and you'll still have all the flavor. And now we can add our sausage back into the pan. Now mix these guys together and this should start tasting pretty darn good. Meanwhile, if you're paleo or some crap like that, you can basically just eat a bowl of this right now by itself and it's gonna taste really good. But if you're a normal human who eats real food, now we're gonna start working with our pizza dough. So first things first, you wanna lightly flour your board so that your dough doesn't stick. And now let's take our dough ball, lay it here like this, and you just wanna cut this thing right down the middle, right in half. Now grab your rolling pin. You wanna flour your rolling pin too. If you don't have a rolling pin, you can use whatever you want. A uh, wine bottle works fine. Don't worry about it too much. And basically what you're trying to do is make like one big long wide oval, stretched out about as thin as you can get it. And this thing again, it's really rustic. It's real simple. Don't worry about it looking really pretty or perfect. You're gonna roll the whole thing up. But this guy's ready to go. So you wanna take some of your mixture here, lay it right here on the inside of your dough. You wanna get it spread pretty evenly across the whole thing. That way when you roll it up, you'll get all the mixture in every single bite. You take your first end like this, kind of smush it down a little bit as you go, roll it, pressing down, keep rolling it, and then just like that, you've got your first guy right here. Take your knife, cut three little slits like this. That'll help it kind of bake more evenly. And now let's get our second dough and do the exact same thing one more time. All right, so now we're gonna to wanna to make our egg wash. It's real simple and trust me, it makes a huge difference. Just take an egg, crack it in here like this, a tiny little drip of water, and then just whisk it. So basically, if you have a brush, just take a pastry brush like this and just brush the outside of your dough, all the parts that are gonna be exposed in the oven. And then if you don't have a pastry brush, don't worry about it, you can do it in an even easier way. A little bit messier, but it doesn't really matter at all. Just take a spoon like this, spoon some over, and then just use your hands and just rub it over the top. Now just let your pizza rolls cook in the oven for about 20, 25 minutes, basically until they're golden brown and look delicious. Get that, they're nice and golden brown. Looking good, you can now just take them, if you have Teflon hands, set them right here like this. Now you wanna let them cool on your cutting board for about five minutes or so before you cut into them. All right, so we're gonna cut these into some nice sort of wide, thick slices, and you can just pick them up and eat them, and they come out pretty darn tasty. You got all these beautiful flavors combined together. It soaks into the dough. It's crispy, it's tender, it's delicious. You don't even miss the cheese. Honestly, you wouldn't even want the cheese in here. It's perfect the way it is. So these things have been made by my grandma, by my mom, so if you don't like it, you're literally being mean to an old dead Italian woman. Well, that's it. We did it. We got a calzone pizza roll type thing, broccoli, sausage. It's great hot like this. Great cold out of the fridge the next day. 
That's it for us today. I'm Noah Gluten. Come on back for more.